Oh, welcome. I am looking for a new Conky for March 2019. And I went on DeviantArt, there are lots of Conkeys there, for example. And um, I have uh, take a look at this one. It's actually made on Arch Linux, I read somewhere, on XFCE. Here it is, Arch Linux with XFCE using Numix icon theme, blank as doc. So recognizable, but I don't think this is Numix theme anyway, but this is what is available. So click download, and then we go to our download button. So that one is old, it's this one extract here this is what's going to be provided you hate it you like it the thing is i'm gonna make a video about this just so you know that you can incorporate any conky out there in your own system you don't have to wait for conkeys for us you can start directly these are all kind of wallpapers that's a nice one view notes dot sh that's um um, in here you have this to-do list and the only thing it does is provide a cat so and uh, an visual text of the notes.txt so you must have notes.txt in your home directory to see that but that's not the point uh, we can skip that we can delete that that's not that important okay I'll close my downloads here so this can go too but Let's keep it for now. Then, start Conky SH. What is he doing? A sleeping Conky, and start the rings, start the CPU, start the mem, and start the nodes. So, actually, we have let's call it three uh, Conkeys to start if you want to have the whole thing. Okay. Where are these guys? There are the rings, there is nodes, there is mem, there is CPU, and now the rings. So there's lots of things to do to change. Let's open up Rings. So Rings is a conkey. It's going to point to a Lua code. Fine. Notes is this thing that's going to point to this cat version, which is not going to be implemented. Memory is um, providing simply four lines of memory code. And CPU is more exactly more the same. So the major thing, the most difficult thing is going to be the rings. Why? Because it's Lua again. Lua is, um, well, a programming language with which you draw these rings. So the, the, the rings we are looking at, this is the, the rings thing. Um, this is going to be the RAM, a CPU, to-do list, one, two, three, four. Looks about right. So how do you incorporate this thing into your system you go to your conkeys here it is and we open it up again i need to know a name by troll punny so let's call him tp troll punny why because every name every conky we incorporate has a link to the source who made it ap is a name Arco is of course Arco Linux, AOR is Aurora, of Aureola, better, and, and so on. Elegant Teams, uh, Jesse Avalas, etc. So the people who created get the credit. But um, we need to get the rings. First, let's get this one. So let's cut this so we know it is gone there. We have a folder that contains all. The Lua things. I just can't have to be make uh, to make sure that we don't overwrite it with another same name, you know. So clock rings Lua is the one that's coming from here. Maybe it's a bad thing what I did. I better do extract here and replace all. So I still know that this is clock rings Lua. So I have a visual that's the one from here. And then the, um, let's start with the rings. Okay, so forgot his name again. Let's call TP Troll Pony. Troll Pony. And we need to have a name. Conky Rings is not a good name. The roll Conky Rings. 
but why not troll punny? Or tr just troll conky RC. Okay, so we've got a name. Let me look at how I do it always. So big capital letters and then conky RC rename. So this guy goes over here. This means that Conky Zen with the extension Conky RC can read it. When we open it here, it's going to point to a Conky, to a folder. And the folder is wrong, of course. So it's not in Conky with a capital letter. It's in config first, then a small Conky, small c, then in the Lua. And then we have clock rings Lua, correct? So again, load me everything in the dot config, in the conky, in the Lua, clock underscore rings Lua. Fine, that's it. Okay. We have not installed Santana font, but I uh, always have to make sure that we don't have copyright issues with fonts. So I'll have to check it out. Let's do that later. Okay, that sets. Let's see how this looks. Do we have anything to look at? Okay, let's go for here and that one. And then we go to Conquizen. Now we make it alphabetically. And we go and look for Troll. Okay, this is troll. Wait for it, wait for it. Can happen that the rings are a little bit later. And there you are. The rings are loaded up and we have something. The font is uh, not the way it should be, but that's um, up to us to see. Battery, I don't need battery, so I can get rid of that code as well. And um, let's see. Why is there a space? Save. And the cap, let's make it 20. So we also get something away from the X, well, from, from the Y axis, really. So, We can click, no, we can't click, so it, it's away. Let's do an override then and save. Now we can click and it stays there on XFC anyway. So you know the drill. It's never going to be okay on all desktops, 12 desktops out there in Arch Linux. So yeah, no, you need to check out these window types. And when you open up one of our own, like say, for instance, one of our AOR stuff, like this one, it will give you more text and context. You see here the context that you can provide. And that's um, the fact that, uh, where are you? Here it is. Normal override dock desktop panel. That's the choice you have. Okay. Back to this one. So, um, that's one thing. And the only thing we need to do is, is work more on it. So I have another go at the font and all that. Um, what about the other ones? The other ones. Maybe, maybe Eric, you should rename it, shouldn't you? Yes, you should. Since it's all part of a collection. Where are you, troll? Here it is. So troll and then rings. And then we can call the other one, CPU, something similar. Control C, we call this guy, Control V, but then not the rings, but the CPU. Move it over here. This is the memory. Move it over here. 
All right. Notes, no notes. Why not just quickly do it? But remember, you need to have something to to show. Um, that's it. That's it. Let's have a look. Conky Zen. And it was down here somewhere. So this thing is, does not exist anymore. Let's make sure it's that. So kill Conky, KC, kill Conky. And now we have the troll, the troll, and the troll, and the troll. Okay. Troll me. Let's get this guy on the top. Or the right is also good. Away, anyway. So these guys are away when I click on the, on the bar. You know now what to do. So overwrite is the message. We are when we are on XFCE. Overwrite. Where are you? Here it is. Overwrite. Save. Then the notes. Overwrite. Save. Then CPU. Overwrite. Save. Let's get rid of those. And we now click somewhere. And then it says here file unreadable. That's not nice at all so we need to have something there but it's just the text well maybe i better show you so we go back to the code you read the code and you say uh where is notes here is notes it says here you need to have a called few notes sh i'm gonna run this thing what's this we forgot something. Yeah, a script we need to run. That's the cat text. Now I'm gonna skip this thing. And who keeps it on the on the on the screen anyway? So it's out. And that's how we make decisions for yourself. So let's start afresh. Conky kill, okay, was killed already, fine. All my changing made it go away. Troll, 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 where are you, troll? So we want rings, we want memory, CPU, looks good. All right, so one, two, and this one takes a little bit longer. Three. Now, one of the conky, one of the um, fonts that's never gonna be an issue is Droid. So we can have a look at that. How will it look when we have Droid? Let's have a look with Open Terminal here. PT Droid. And it says, okay, that's not enough. Um, then we probably capital D. You know how it goes. So. What if we take the font Droid Sans size 10, Ctrl Shift C, and then we go inside, let's move that over here. Let's have a look at, let's start with the memory. Fonts, 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 fonts. Here it is Santana. So let's see if I do this thing save something has happened now that's the memory oh there's my memory memory this is 18 let's change it to this one what is this tp oh that does not exist i've renamed my files so eric close all the files close without saving without saving all these files were renamed but he doesn't know that he has still the old files so i want to open those three guys that's what's left okay and then 
Santana, you're out. What's this? Okay. That's gonna change. Size 20. 210 is my mistake. <laughs> 20. Safe. Okay, that's changing now. Let's have a look at the smallest. All right, so just the Wednesday here is changing. This line is changing because of that. Okay. All right. So, Font Santana. Um, right. What, I, what if I forget just font size 12? Is that okay? And we get the root. That's not okay. It does not know what that is. So I'm going to say it like this. Yeah, that's small enough. Um, we can make italic. Let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Size 12. Why not? And why is he doing that? Home, all spaces, home, uh, home font. Why is this behind it? Save. Fine. And then font Santana. So again, size 24 no problem size 24 and Santana as well size 10 save zero graph and execute uh, from Santana save battery I have no battery let's get rid of the battery you can add it back in if you need it so we are getting to this already. <clears throat> Again, the memory here. Droid sense. So we get here size 24. I mean 14. What am I saying? And then droid sense 12. What happens? This is memory. Check memory. Save and That's the new look. That's okay. That's not bad. And when you change this size up here, let's let me show you what's happening. If I say 20 as standard, these guys get 20. Why do, do they get 20? Because this has no definition of the font, so it's falling back on this line. So that's the standard size. For anything I do not define but I'm gonna define it like so so only the specific things that I want bigger I tell something about it otherwise it's just number 10 here we can still change this to change all that or vice versa the titles change that to another font so I'm gonna play around with that for sure but first the basics making sure the code is okay save Santana 14 oops what am I doing control Z just this control V was it 14 yep and as well this I think it was 12 yes save load load load, load, load. okay look good let's have a look and that's it so I'm gonna play around with some more fonts we do have fonts I'm gonna see if that one is possible to have without copyright infringements and otherwise we'll find another free font that we can share with you but this is going to be the Conky that we'll have on uh, March 2019. All right.
pictures.